are watching Eyes On with Ai Ping. Fantastic, and I'm surprised. It's a very fast big selection. What you can have. If you wanted to buy a cleaning robot, would you shop online or at a brick and model store? How long does it take to get the goods ordered at your place? Well, here in China, many are willing to shop online, and the delivery could be faster than you imagine. Sometimes even less than one hour. Why is it so efficient? How has China's e-commerce, including online shopping, developed under the pandemic? And what are some of the takeaways for people who wanted to start or expand their business in China? Well, today we're going to find out, and let's start with one thing that most people enjoy: shopping. Traditionally, people will prefer to go to the physical shops where they can feel, test, and compare different products in person. Well, this is one of the largest stores in Beijing. If you wanted to buy any electrical appliance, but with the rampant global pandemic, physical shops like this have witnessed fewer customers. But on the internet, it is another story. Traditional offline businesses have been moving online through ways like live streaming, with tempting prices, general giveaways, and sweepstakes. Online shoppers' passion would be largely fueled. 其实线上的这一部分的业务呢，一直以来都是我们的一个趋势。从二零二零年开始，疫情开始，线上的这一部分其实就更加重要了。国美在以前传统这样的一个呃基础之上，然后提供了更多的一些线上的选择，可以让顾客去进行一个娱乐和社交。Many international brands are also increasing their presence in China's online shopping market, where e-commerce platforms play an important role as a good jumping-off point. In 2021, more than 5,000 new international brands entered the Chinese market through Timo Global, China's e-commerce platform, with more than 2,000 small and medium-sized brands successfully testing the Chinese market to achieve monthly sales of over 15,000 U.S. dollars. So, with the live streamers' inviting introduction of the products, the time-limited offers and coupons. The live streaming marketing has really encouraged more people to order online, but that is merely the start. What happens after a consumer places an order? Well, today I'm going to take you inside one of the logistic parks here in Beijing to have a behind-the-scenes look. This is JD's highly automated Asia Number、no. One logistic park. This gigantic warehouse can store over 20 million goods. And up to 400,000 pieces of goods are processed here every day. The product's integrated processing, sorting, packaging, and shipping procedures are done in a large-scale way. Large-scale machines use automated robots, robot machines, and the robotic warehouse system to reduce operating costs and improve efficiency. At the moment, we have completed the Zhiwang plan to build the eight core logistics hubs. In the short term, there are already 43 major cities of the Asian Eastern Region that are engaged in modern logistics transportation. Then订单下场我们的库房之后,它会首先定位,定位到我们的储备上,然后去把这个订单拣选完成,再留到到打包环节,去进行T-Chair出库,就整体的分解,占点配送。但是我们的话也是在加大我们的人员和我们的车辆
工作。后来上涨的话，片区会根据这个每个站的情况不同嘛，会协调我们区域内的自己人员来，呃，点对点的支援什么的。然后平常是两千三千左右吧，那现在就疫情啥嘛，就好像会多一点，四千左右。So today, I'm going to experience an express delivery under the pandemic with our dear delivery guy. Now I'm going to deliver this、uh, package to a customer who lives on the fifth floor. Let's go. Hi, 您好，快递。每年的话，六幺八和双十一是两个节点，反正应该是一天是三四百单左右。每天见到这么多客户，你的一点微薄之力，能能够帮助到他们，还是很很有成就感的。I'm sweaty and then a little bit tired after just delivered a few、um, packages. And just to think about, like for the delivery man, they have about 200 packages to deliver every day. And I think it's just because of them we need to like really thank them for their hard work that our life can get going even with the pandemic. The internet came to China in 1994, and in the past 28 years, it has penetrated the country's many sectors. Today, China has the largest digital buyer population in the world, amounting to more than 780 million people. And in 2021, China's online retail sales totaled more than 13 trillion yuan, contributing to more than half of the world's total. If we take a closer look, it is not hard to find that the booming development of China's e-commerce is the combined results of the increasing consumer demand, the emergence of e-commerce platforms. Favorable government policies, the improved infrastructure, including 5G network, efficient and smart logistics, and etc. Well, these e-commerce platforms not only offer a channel for Chinese consumers to purchase quality products, but it's also an efficient way for international brands to enter or seek expansion in the Chinese market. While the COVID-19 pandemic has definitely put forward challenges for China's economy, but it has also further driven e-commerce activities. A trend that is expected to continue even beyond the pandemic. Oh, and here comes the parcels that are ordered online. Let's not keep the couriers waiting too long. So thanks for watching, everyone, and hope to see you next time.